Nvidia has been around for a long time and it's built a reputation of being a top tier performer for a slight cost premium over the competition. However, over the past few generations, this has become sort of a mixed bag, with some being barely considered a refresh and others that perform amazing have a nightmarish price tag to go along with it. This is especially true for the 40 series. On the other hand, AMD has had a very mixed past, but they're finally actually starting to show consistency over the past few generations, but they still seem to be afraid of taking it hard to Team Green at the high end. This has been okay because AMD has been a champion for the budget-friendly price point. As it turns out, however, though, NVIDIA may be trying to bring the fight back to AMD on the low end with some recent price cuts to the 30 series lineup. As of right now, you can snag an RTX 3060 12 gigabyte for as low as $279 brand new in the US. And of course, it goes up from there. That's why in this video, I'm comparing the RTX 3060 versus the new kit on the block, the RX 7600 from AMD. So for roughly the same money, and 50% more VRAM, the question is, can the RTX 3060 steal away the budget crown from the 7600? This video is brought to you by SCD Key. Are you tired of overpaying for Windows? Well, SCD Key has got you covered for Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a crazy low price. All you do is click on the link in the description below. Make your selection and click buy now. On top of that, you can get an additional 25% off using my discount code BPC25 for a limited time. The best part is you can get fast and secure checkout using PayPal. Type in activation settings, click on change product key, paste in your brand new key, click next, then activate. Now you're all set. You can also get a great deal on Microsoft Office with the link in the description below using my offer code. What's up guys, my name is Juan and you're watching my channel, Blueprint PC. In this video, I'm gonna cover benchmarks, gaming performance, and go over a crash course of what you need to know about both these GPUs and give you some information and tips to help you decide which one's gonna be best for you. First things first, let's take a look at the specs of both of these contenders. The AMD RX 7600 has a boost clock of 2655 megahertz, 2048 stream processors, and 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. On the other side, we have the RTX 3060. With a boost clock of 1780 megahertz, 3584 CUDA cores, and 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. Now it's clear, both of these GPUs bring the power, but let's not forget some key differences. One of the standout differences between these two is the ray tracing capabilities. Now the RTX 3060 really shines here with its second generation RT cores, allowing for smooth FPS with great lighting and reflections. However, the RX 7600 is not taking this lying down. It is also on its second generation ray accelerators, which offers some solid ray tracing performance for those who want to dip a toe into some ray traced waters with just slightly less performance compared to Nvidia. Both AMD and NVIDIA have a growing suite of applications to choose from. Mind you, NVIDIA does have a longer list, but AMD is hard at work doing their best to catch up. My average gamer's test bench specs will be put on the screen here for you. If you want to know more, there'll be a link in the video description where you can see my video about my test bench in more depth. The short answer is it's a middle of the road system designed to give you realistic performance results without doing something that would cripple anything unfairly. So let's go ahead and dive right into the benchmarks. Both of these budget-friendly GPUs make a decent showing in synthetics, but we all know this does not translate directly into gaming FPS. However, it is a good sign for workstation tasks. Rainbow Six is the first up, and it surprised me with the 7600 having an over 10% lead across the board. Horizon 5 shows both cards staying comfortable even at 4K. Again, the 7600 is in the lead. F1 2022 further drives these GPUs apart, with the 3060 falling over 20% behind. The trend continues with Cyberpunk. Neither do well at 4K, but the 3060 is barely treading water at 1440p. Borderlands favors AMD architecture, and it really shows that the RTX 3060 gets stomped across all resolutions. Horizon Zero Dawn finally closes the gap at 1440 and 4K. The 7600 still has a slight lead at 1080p. 
Watchdog Legions again shows the RTX 3060 shrink the gap at high resolutions, likely with the help of the extra VRAM. If you guys are finding this video helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. We're gonna dive right in the breakdown here. For Strictly Gaming, AMD is surprisingly the better route to go, even with the less VRAM, for now. Will the VRAM become an issue? Most likely. How soon? It really kind of depends on the games you play and if game developers decide to actually do their job and finish a game and optimize it before they launch it. This brings us back to Team Green. The RTX 3060 oddly enough becomes the better value here for some users. If you're looking to do more than just game like streaming or creative works, the extra VRAM becomes paramount. This is further help with NVIDIA's compatibility with basically any software application on the planet that makes it a great investment for somebody looking to have a bargain basement price for a creative use case. If you're still a little torn and maybe leaning towards the RX 7600 but wish it had some more performance and some more VRAM to handle some of those creative use cases, you should watch my video comparing the RX 7600 versus the RX 6700 XT right here. Before that, do me a favor, please hit that like subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.